Welcome to the 2019 NFL Mock Draft Predictions Marble Race. These marbles will predict the top 10 picks of this year's draft. First off, we got Kyle Murray, Nick Bosa, Josh Allen, Quinnen Williams, Ed Oliver, Rashawn Gary, Jaywan Taylor, Drew Locke, Devin White, and Dwayne Hoskins. Those 10 were going to be competing for the top 10 spots there. The Cardinals, the 49ers, the Jets, Raiders, Bucks, Giants, Jaguars, Lions, Bills, and Broncos. This is going to be an elimination tournament. The top brackets will get a bye all the way to the finals. Here's the track. We got the gauntlet at the top going down into two loop de doos over to the crossover to another loop de doo around the spinner there into the jump into the basket there. We'll see who can make it. You have a split there. You can go down the side to a loop de on the left, or you can take the shortcut to the right, which will both lead to the finish. So let's see who's the smarter players and takes the shortcut. First off, we're going to have Devin White and Dwayne Hoskins. So these two will be competing to either get drafted in the 10th spot or move on ahead. So we've got Devin White in the white and Dwayne Hoskins in the blue. Here we go. Through the gauntlet into the first loop. -de. Devin White just takes off right into the second loop. -de. Well, well, Hoskins is just taking his time on the top. Looks like Devin White has a clear lead here. Let's see if he can make it through the loop. -de first. Here it goes. White's going to drop down. He's going to go around the corner into the long red tube there into the second loop. -de. Hoskins is still at the top taking his time. I'm not sure what he's doing up there. Clearly, Devin White has a huge advantage on this. He's going to drop down from the second loop -de already. He does not want to go into the 10th spot. He wants to move. He's into the jump into the basket. Look at that. He makes it in the basket. But he, he must feel very comfortable because he takes the route on the right. And I think that's a huge mistake here. Yeah, look at that. We've got Hoskins going to the left side. And he passes him up. What a fantastic adjustment by Hoskins to go into the left side. Passes White, who had the lead the whole time. So now, White, Devin White, is going to go to the number 10 spot to the Broncos. And Dwayne Hoskins has a chance to move up. All right. Hey, we're going to move on to the next ones here. We've got Drew Locke, quarterback Drew Locke, and Jawan Taylor. Hopefully, these players are watching films and preparing for these because you can clearly see that the left side, if you choose that, is much quicker. All right. They're both getting set up here on the top. We've got Locke in the yellow and Taylor at the yellow with the brown strip. Oh, boy, this could be hard to call here. Let's see who drops in first. They both look the same to me. I don't know who picked these colors here, but uh, that was clearly a mistake. It's going to make it tough on the announcer. But let's see if we can swatch and see who goes in here first. I believe that's Locke getting ready to drop down. He's going to the second loop -dee. He's around the corner, down the chute, into the third loop -dee here. Looks like Taylor's still at the top there. He's taking his time. So Taylor's now going to join Locke here. Locke is, yeah, that is Locke. That's clearly Locke getting ready to drop down here. He's going to go into the jump here. Here he goes around the curve into the jump into the basket. He makes it. He's going to go on the right side. Is this another mistake? Is this another mistake where Taylor can go on the left side? He's into the jump into the basket. He makes it clearly. He is going on the left. Good job by Taylor. And Locke blew that again. That's amazing. How can you just watch another player do that? And then look at that. Taylor wins. Locke is out. I, I don't understand that. So now you've got Drew Locke is the number nine pick into the Bills. And that gives Jawan Taylor a chance to move way up in this draft. Great job by him. All right, so hey, we got Rashawn Gary in the clear, Ed Oliver in the yellow. This has been our two races already. It's really exciting here. Here we go through the gauntlet. So look at that, Oliver drops in right away. He's into the second loopy, but Gary's right behind him. Wow, this is going to be a Hey, if you've enjoyed this so far, go ahead and subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. We've got a lot of other NFL videos you can watch from last season. Boy, this is a super close one here. Looks like Oliver has got a slight lead, but Gary is right behind him here. Yep, Oliver's dropping into that bottom loop -de there. He's got a little bit of advantage, but Gary is right behind him. Let's see which player has learned here on the left or the right side, because clearly that left side is better. Oliver is in the lead there. Gary's slowed down a little bit. Oliver is going to hit into the jump. He goes into the jump, into the basket. He's got it. He's taking the left. He's learned from those last two players. Wow, Oliver kicked Gary's butt on that one, and Oliver is going to move way up into the draft. Gary's just going to take his time now. Why risk an injury? You do not want to have an injury here um, and, and then risk your NFL career. That'd be silly. So I don't blame him. He knew he was losing. So uh, Gary's going to take the right sign, and he's going to move into the uh, number, I believe it's the number eight spot. Yeah, he's going to go to the Lions. So you got Rashawn, Drew, and Devin there in the bottom three. Great job by Ed Oliver. All right. Hey, check this one out. We've got Quinn and Williams in the white and Josh Allen's the darker color. Quinn and Allen, Quinn drops in first, but man, look at that. Allen jumped right past him. What an aggressive move by Allen. Wow. 
Well, that move at the top of the, the gauntlet there gave Allen a huge lead here. Quinn and Luck might be making it up, though. He is right on his butt. He wants this. He wants to move up in the draft. Make millions more. Here we go. Allen's dropping in. He's going to go into the bottom loop. -dee. Let's see if Quinn can catch up here. Allen's spinning around there. He's taking his time a little bit. Quinn is dropping down finally. Here we go. He's going to join him. He's going to have to make an aggressive move because it looks like Allen's made a nice adjustment. And he's going to go into the shoot here. He's going into the jump. Into the basket. He makes it. We've seen teams drop out of that sucker. And he goes on the right side. I bet you this is a huge mistake here by Allen. I bet you Quinn is going to take the left. He's into the jump into the basket. Yep. That's a clear move. Allen must just made that huge a mistake there. And for some reason, I just don't understand that. But Quinn is going to move on. So Allen there is going to go to the Jaguars. He hit the number seven pick. Not bad, though. I take the top seven. That's for darn sure. Quinnen is going to move way up in this draft here. Wow. Uh, here we go. We got some of the top two picks. This round here, the winner of this will go all the way to the finals. So we've got Kyler Murray and Nick Bosa. This is going to be a fabulous one. Nick Bosa is in the dark blue. Kyler Murray is in the green. So they're at the gauntlet. Here we go. Looks like, yeah, Bosa took off hugely. Murray's right behind him, though, but Bosa drops in. Murray is right, and Murray is pushing him. He's super aggressive. Look at Murray. No, Nick Bosa went past him. Wow. This is a great start. I don't know who's in the lead. They both want it. They both want one of these this shot at the top two picks. Wow. Look at this. Okay, we got uh, dropping down first, down into the second loop there. Bosa's got a little bit of lead now on Kyle Murray. Kyle Murray's coming down finally. I don't know if he's out of breath or what's going on here, but Bosa is, looks like he's a little bit more shaped. He is prepared for this a little bit more than Murray, it looks like. Bosa's going into the jump. He makes it into the basket. He goes on the left. He's not, he's not jacking around like some of the other people have done. Bosa wins. Bosa just blew Kyle Murray away. Wow, Kyle Murray now is into the bottom loop, D, and again, he's taking the smart move. You don't want to hurt yourself before the NFL season even starts, so he, he knows he's lost. He knows Bosa's just kind of uh, whopped him there, and uh, boy, who uses the word whop anymore, but I don't know. Hey, look at that. Bosa wins, and Bosa's going to be in the top two spot, and that dropped Kyle Murray down to the sixth spot to the Giants, which uh, it's actually not a bad grab for him. Good job for the Giants. So that wraps up the first round here of this 2019 NFL mock draft prediction. We're going to go into the second round. Again, Nick Bosa is going to go all the way to the finals. Quinnen Williams and Ed Oliver will go against each other. We got Jaywan Taylor and Dwayne Hoskins. They're going to be up next. So remember, if you watch it this far, you might as well go ahead and subscribe because you'll like some of these other NFL... Uh... Hey, we've changed the track here. I forgot about that. We've changed the track. The left side has a super aggressive jump. You have to clear the red little thing and land right on there. If you don't land right on there, you pop off and you'll be out. I've seen a couple, a couple players doing that in practice and they popped off. So let's see who's super aggressive and wants it. Look at this. Taylor is going on the way on the left side here. Taylor's in the yellow. He must have seen something while watching the video here to go on the left side. Looks like he's going to be super aggressive there. There we go. Yeah, it worked for him. He shot right down the left side. Didn't even hit any of the obstacles. Wow, what fantastic preparation there for uh, Taylor. Good job. That's what you need to do. If you want to move up into this NFL draft, you have to watch tape. You have to study. You have to prepare more than the other player. And he did that. Let's see if it pays off. Yep, he's in ahead. He's going to go into the bottom loop. -dee. Clearly in the lead now. Hoskins is going to have to be super aggressive. He's going to do something to catch up with Taylor. He's still up there spinning. Here he comes. He's going to join him now, but uh, Taylor's getting ready to drop into the jump already. Let's see. Taylor needs to make sure he makes no errors. He goes into the jump, makes the basket. He's got it, and he takes the right side. What is he thinking? He, he did awesome preparation on the top side. Boy, Hoskins probably will take the left side. I don't know why he wouldn't. Here he goes. Left side, he clears it. I forgot about the jump being adjusted, but he did it. He cleared over it. And Taylor blew it right at the end, and Hoskins won. He made the jump. Let's watch the replay. He comes over here, makes the basket, goes on the left side, takes the jump right over the red little thing, and makes it. Wow. Taylor made a bottom error, and that, that was crucial. And he's going to just go into that, uh, what, I think maybe the sixth spot? No, no, I'm sorry, the, the fifth spot. He's going to go to the box. Juwan is going to go to the box, so still not bad. Wayne Hoskins is really moving up into the draft now. Wow. All right, we're going to have Ed Oliver against Quinnen Williams. Wow, this is going to be a good one. Ed Oliver is in the yellow. Quinnen is in the white. Neither one watched the video, apparently, and didn't go on that left side early. Like, uh, like I think it was Taylor did earlier, but uh, here we go. Ed Oliver is in first. Quinnen. Wow, Quinnen jumps right past him. He didn't even screw around in that top loop, D. Wow, they, these, these two are neck and neck now. What a great start to this race. Looks like Quinnen's going to drop down first. He's just kind of blocking out Oliver there. Yep, Quinnen's going to drop down. He goes around the side there into the long shoot, into the bottom loop here. Oliver needs to catch him up, catch up now. 
What is he doing? Here he comes. He's finally coming down here, and Quinn has got a nice lead. Oliver's still way on the outside while uh, Quinnen's getting ready to drop into the jump. Let's see how he does. Into the basket. He makes it. He goes on the left side. He's smart. He's a good one. Wow. Quinnen went on the left side, and he just, just was super aggressive. Didn't screw around now. And as you would expect, you would see Oliver go on the right side, take his time so he doesn't get injured here. I um, mean, as he prepares for the NFL uh, season, because he's still going to drop, I think, move up to that number four spot, uh, which is Oliver. So Quinn, and man, he is way up in the draft picks now. Look at that. You've got the Raiders taking Ed Oliver. Dwayne Hoskins still in it. Quinn and Williams is in it. And they're going to fight for that number one or two draft pick. <laughs> Excuse me. Boy, I get so excited doing these predictions. Uh, and man, hey, if you like this, remember, go watch out the other the other NFL uh, videos from last season. Remember, Nick Bosa, he goes all the way to the finals. He's definitely going to be the one or two pick. And Dwayne Hoskins and Quinnen, they're going to fight now. So this is for the second, moving on to a chance for the first or second, but uh, you'll at least get the third draft pick here. And look at this. I want to make sure everybody knows that I'm not uh, rigging or the, the track setter uppers are not rigging that. They set that. So that they have a choice. It's set right in the middle there and they can do the split at the bottom. So don't think that it uh, is rigged at all because to be honest with you, I'm a Notre Dame fan and none of my players are in this at all. And probably won't be. So here we go. They're getting ready to set up. We've got Quinn and Williams in the white. Dwayne Hoskins in the blue. Let's see how they do. They're getting ready for the gauntlet. Remember, this is for the championship. This is going to go for a chance at the, the number one or two spot here. Quinnen jumps through that again. He has mastered that top loop, and he just jumped right past him. Wow. Hoskins is right behind him, though. So they're taking their time. Now, Hoskins moved in the front, it looked like, just for a little bit here. No, now Quinnen's taking it back. Quinn is taking Look at that overhead. I forgot the Goodyear blip was here. Look at that overhead shot. That's fantastic. The film crew has done a great job here. Where's Hoskins at? He's Quinnen has a huge lead. Huge lead. Hoskins is coming around there. Hoskins is finally joining Quinnen at the bottom, but Quinnen's getting ready for the jump already. He kind of knows to take the left side, so let's see if he does it. He goes into the basket. He does. He takes the left side. He mastered that track. He is prepared for this NFL draft more than any player. Wow. That is fantastic. Hoskins, though, he moved way up in this draft. He was, he was toward the bottom. No one expected for him to go into the third round. Or, I'm sorry, not the third round, but the third pick overall. So Hoskins going to drop in, join Quinn in here, and there you go. We've got, uh, we've got, um, I'm sorry, we've got the Jets taking Dwayne Hoskins here in the number three pick. There's all your picks there, and now we're going to get ready for the final championship between Nick Bosa and Quinn and Williams, two defensive masters, and this is going to be fantastic. Either team is going to be uh, in great shape with either of these players. We got Nick Bosa in the dark blue, Quinn and Williams again in the white. Quinnen drops down again. He mastered that top just like he did the last race. Bosa's right behind him here, though. So this is the close one. They're just kind of watching each other, seeing what they're going to do. Quinnen might be taking... Yep, Quinnen got it. You see that bump? Quinnen bumped him out of the way. Quinnen bumped in front of Bosa. And he's going to drop in first, How? Here we go into the bottom loop D. Bosa better catch up because Quinnen knows how to do this track. So Bosa's going to have to make some sort of move here to catch up with him. Here we go. Bosa's now finally coming down here and joining him. Boy, Quinnen has really done a great job. Look at that overhead shot of the... This is a great one. Right there, the blimp there. Bosa's right behind him. He was super aggressive, and he was right on his tail into the basket. Quinnen is taking the right side. What is he doing? Is he just thinking about his NFL career? Look at that. Bosa went to the left, jumped right over it. Did you see that? Bosa went to the left. He's going to be the number one pick. Quinnen's the number two pick, but I think Quinnen got a little safe there and didn't want to get injured for the NFL season. Wow, he just lost millions of dollars by going on the right side. Bosa, look at that. Jumps right over it and lands perfectly into the slot. Wow, that was a fantastic race. So we got Nick Bosa, the defensive end from Ohio State, is the first pick overall in the 2019 draft. He's going to go to the Cardinals. That's going to help him. Hey, if you've enjoyed this, please subscribe, share. There's your top, top picks right there. Let's see how accurate this is. Come uh, the 25th. Hey, I think it's on NBC this year. There we go. Hey, subscribe.